Hey everybody, Eric from the Mature Minded Gamers Group. We are a group of adult gamers who have jobs and lives, but most importantly a passion for gaming, including Dungeons and & Dragons. And I'm going to show you how to do Fog of War or a Mass Layer in Fantasy Grounds, the original version. It's not that hard, but a little confusing. Fantasy Grounds has a pretty steep learning curve. Um, so I'm going to help you out and we're going to get to it to the point. I'm not going to ramble on and show you 8,000 other things. Uh, I found a lot of other videos on the internet do that, and boy, who's got time for that, right? So, when you get your map loaded up like this, you just need to right-click on it. You want to actually go to Layers. You want to go to Enable Mask. This is going to put a mask over the whole map, so when you actually share it with your players by right-clicking, going Sharing, Share Sheet, they would get just a map of nothing on it, uh, except for Fog of War or uh, the mask covering. They, they wouldn't be able to see it like you can see it here. Um, we can see that because, you know, we're the DM. So so once you get that done and you get it shared out, I would honestly do this first. So this is my party symbol. What I would do is you actually want to, um, do you see the little eye symbol on the, the mouse cursor? That means we are in mass mode. So we are good to go. So I can click anywhere and drag a triangle and that is going to reveal it. So if you shared this with the party now, sharing, shared. Um, for the first time, this is what they would see, and this is how I would share my map originally, because obviously they're not going to be blind when they walk out right away. So this would be the first thing I would share, and if you don't like the squares, because I'm not a big fan of the squares either, you can actually hold down the shift key, and then do the left mouse button here, and you can actually drag around in a circle. And there you go, and if you got a little part like that, you can just go like that and get rid of it. And that's more of a, you know, in my opinion, how your vision would work. And it looks more realistic to me. But if you mess up, all you got to do is hold down the control key and left click. And that whole area will get remasked just like that. Pretty simple to do. It's, it's nice when people are going in and out of dungeons. If you want to mask something because maybe a monster moved in behind them or something, you can do it that way. So hopefully this video helped you out on how to mask and unmask and do different shapes. Um, if, if you get to the point where you're not on... The mask button, you can just right click here, go back to layers, and see I'm in mask mode. But if you get to the point where you're not in mask mode, just right click, go layers, and then go enable mask mode, and then you'll get back to where you can actually show fog of war, or remove fog of war, or put it on, whatever you want to do. Alright, hope the video helped you. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, help us keep growing, and have yourself a great day.